the Mama Eunice Johnsons, like the Mama Mancos, like the Mama Eunice Addisons, that taught me that. And so tonight, while I'm telling you my story, don't underestimate the power of the church, how the church plays a role in shaping you and then presenting you to the world. Because by the time they show you to the world, girl, you are ready for it. But it doesn't come straight away. I started singing when I was, the earliest I can remember was about seven years. Around 20 years ago, exactly around this time, there was a PENSA conference. I know it's exactly around this time because I was in my final year of nursing school. And so I had finished singing. And because I did nursing, I was a third year nursing student and I was supposed to be sat at a health desk. Before I carry on, thank you so much. I am bad at protocols, but it's an honor to be here and I think I'll get there soon. But I had just finished singing and I went and I was on my way to take my seat on the health desk. Remember, I had finished singing and I was tired. So when I got to the desk, there was a seat that was empty and I sat on it. And then a young man walked up to me and said, excuse me, you are sitting on my chair. In my head, I thought, this guy is not a gentleman at all. I think, for once, you know, first and foremost, I had finished singing. Oi! I was done singing. And then secondly, I thought I was a lady. People, long story short, 20 years later, that gentleman is my husband. Yeah! Yeah! Tonight, may you meet your future husband. short I was doing ministry I was doing my God giving assignment and right there God gave me the best ministry supporter the most romantic man on earth the one that gets me and I get him Listen, they don't come in the right shape. Remember, he wasn't a gentleman on the first day. The, the man might not have the right words to say, but the heart is good. And so to all the ladies here, whilst you are praying, you are watching. Take a seat. Whilst we are being equipped, ready for the world, and whilst we are doing the work of God, God begins to cause all other things to align themselves for us. And so tonight, for being here, may the Lord make every crooked path straight. I am grateful to God 20 years ago I never thought guys 20 years ago I never thought never imagined that a conference I held in such high esteem will invite me hand me the microphone not just to sing but to tell my story.
this is the doing of the Lord it is marvelous in our sight and so a big thank you to Apostle Eric Nyamiche the international executive members the leadership the youth um, youth pastor Pastor Hagen Pensa leaders and to you for giving me audience tonight now prior to that 20 years and we can't even talk about all that because I have 20 minutes a lot has happened a lot has happened and I might not be able to tell you the full story but I pray to God that as I tell you how we got here the Lord would help you and let you know that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond what we can ask or think of and so as a child I'm telling you where I have come from and what God has done so far I was I am an Ashanti girl and then I am a Church of Pentecost girl as well and I was raised in Kumasi and that is a very serious combination especially when you are raised by an older woman and so to say you cannot say say because papa yeah prior to growing and so I remember and I'm telling you a funny story that my father was the apostle of church of Pentecost apostle FENG who was a worship leader and so I knew how to do worship when I say I knew like I knew that yeah yeah say a shana ya jini sa wushi riya se a punin shia da ho ni riya se ninkani ya ni riya ni osramo e rade sa ya ye e rade sa na se no I knew all the gimmicks and so around the age of about 14 13 14 I went to the church of Pentecost Sunday school and the teacher taught us worship and then when he was done he said who can lead worship then Peninsa Mimi just lifted up my hand I said of course I can lead worship so I lifted up my hands and I did a great worship remember I knew how to do it I'm not talking the spiritual side of things I had gone through the motions and when I was done I was just about rounding up you know you have to round up in style like you have to have the right words to tell God like if you are the right worship leader so Diana started so I was saying all these things I was trying to remember something else to say me dream who say ma the guy doing the interpretation is laughing. Masa, yeah, yeah, Jumawati. Messi Rati, we your poku. Me kaya panami who said kai meti. But I thought they didn't hear it. So when we were done, the Sunday school teacher came forward and said, Sister Dinah Entry, why are dear you have done well? Everything was on point. But whilst you were ending, who can say eradi yo poku? Mami eradi nyo poku opoku ya nam yere. that day I haven't led worship because I know how to do it 
I have led worship because I understand it. And I am careful to tell God how I feel, not what someone else feels. Because the Church of Pentecost became a training ground for me. The place where I was allowed to make all the mistakes. So that when I take the microphone off the stage of COP, I stand on there because I have been trained. But then also, the Church of Pentecost allowed me to have access to the stage. Now, wherever I stand anywhere, I am grateful to the Church of Pentecost for that stage, that training. Guys, if I want to bring the Pentecost in, I know when to pull that card. Listen, we have cards we pull when we want to pull them. Like when I enter into a local assembly and I pick up a song. Every set Every this particular song, I might not be able to sing it the way I have done it in ICGC or even here at Pensa because some of you are looking at me very funny because my riffs and runs are not the best they are not what you know now but there are some places I can pull that card and people are blessed by that and I was fortunate enough because there were some elderly people like the Mama Eunice Johnsons like the Mama Mancos like the Mama Eunice Addisons that taught me that and so tonight while I'm telling you my story don't underestimate the power of the church how the church plays a role in shaping you and then presenting you to the world because by the time they show you to the world girl you are ready for it but it doesn't come straight away I started singing when I was the earliest I can remember was about seven years I, I give that number roughly because that's as early as I can remember but fast forward one time my father took me to Mrs. Eunice Addison and I think you know the story my father told her to pray for me so that I would write songs or receive songs by inspiration like she does and the posh lady spoke to me and said in verses and in stanzas then she patted me three times on the back and asked me to leave now when now when she was done with that i could have said i have been prayed for by the woman of the moment and so i was ready for my assignment but ladies and gentlemen remember that from the time david was anointed up until the time he actually ascended the throne it took years years in the wilderness 
years where he wrote psalms that will later help us to worship God even when we don't have the right words to say years process so you walk through the process you walk the walk so that when it gets to the right time you can talk the talk people what I am telling you tonight are things that have helped me they are not the word or the, the only manual but I pray to God that my story will inspire someone tonight that my story will be a blessing to someone tonight David went into the wilderness so after I was prayed for by Mrs. Eunice Addison and everything that had happened I stayed in the church and I started from one local assembly to the district to the national to international and then we started moving out of the church people it has been a process process where no one knew the songs we were writing the lives we were leading God was aligning everything for us so that at the right time it will work so what I am telling you tonight is whilst I was going through the process I took out the time to hone in my craft to learn from people to understudy people to watch how people did it to learn how to pray to learn how to wait to look up to God to have a personal relationship with my God and then took that time to write songs and study people it has been a long time like I said I was about I think when I started singing with Francis I was about 14 years so we are talking a little under 30 years ago where God started this and so I want to pause for a moment to tell you that whilst you are here know that everything you are going through is part of the learning process it might take longer than someone but take the time to walk through the motions to walk the walk to rely on God to wait on God to study your craft to serve to applaud those who have gone ahead of you it's very important because when it gets to that time where you get there and somebody applauds you one you will not feel guilty two you will not be intimidated because you have learned to appreciate those at the top you have walked through the motions you have been a backing vocalist you have been an assistant you have been a secretary you have been a member before you have been a teller before you have been a member before and you've risen through the ranks to become a pastor the manager the supervisor the director the lead vocalist and you understand those that are behind you I pray that as we are going through these times the learning process we will take that time to learn the craft to study to wait on God and then watch God positioning us so that when the time comes for us to walk the walk we can do that in all fullness may the Lord bless us hallelujah what I have done and I heard Bernard Avler talk about it was the need to attach excellence to everything when you are attaching excellence to everything for me I have realized that for every stage I am taking for every microphone that is handed to me I am attaching every seriousness giving it my all as though tomorrow will not come and that this is my only chance to deliver and do it and do it so well I don't know if you believe that 
after over 30 years of singing, I still pay someone to vocal coach me. And the last time I mentioned the price, there was a news headline. And so today I will not mention the price. But we have a vocal coach. We still rehearse. We still stay up all night praying because one of my greatest fears is complacency. One of my greatest fears, the things that keep me awake at night, is that feeling of pain. We know the formula, we know the winning team. You know, we have nice ways of putting these things. Then before you realize, you are so complacent. But if you assume the position of, Father, I am nothing without you. Father, if you do not take the lead, who am I? Father, this is your work. Do it and use me as a vessel. And then you attach every seriousness to it. Take it as though it is your last chance. Because you might not know. That song you lifted up that day has been a blessing to someone. May the Lord bless us to attach seriousness, to attach excellence, to do this work. When I say this work, every work you are involved in, every ministry you are attached to, every work, whether physical or spiritual, because whilst you are doing this, and attaching this excellence to it it is blessing people it is lifting you from one place to another and it is moving you from glory to glory another thing that we did and I am handling this topic with a bit of cautiousness Jesus Christ, when he came on earth, used every medium possible to propagate the gospel. And so the last time I went to Israel, I went to the part where he sat on the boat and preached the gospel. And I realized that it was the marketplace. It was the place where trade happened, where everyone came to, to get a living. And so, people were there. My father has a saying, had a saying he used to say, Daini, you the drum na tree drum. Anybody understand that? You the drum and a tree drum. Say that, let me hear. You the drum and a tree drum. What that simply means is, some, God help me explain this. There, there's, there's power in numbers. That's the thing. Thank you, Lord. There's so much power in numbers. But you can use it to your benefit or you can abuse it. And so just as Christ stood on the boat and had the attention of men in their numbers, God in this modern day and age has given us social media. And we can either use that to bring glory to his name or use that to abuse ourselves or let it go sour. And so there was VGMA, I'll give you a classical example. That was the VGMA where I was nominated for four or six categories. I was. And before I realized there was this template flyer going around and people were just fixing their, their pictures in it. And all it said was, I support Diana Hamilton for VGME Artist of the Year. The next thing I saw, Apostle Professor Dr. Opokonina had done one for me. And then 
move from pastor to pastor, member to member, church to church. This PIWC stands with Diana Hamilton. This dust there. And then at the end of the day, Church of Pentecost was a topic on every media house that if Diana Hamilton did not have Church of Pentecost, she wouldn't have won the VGMA Artist of the Year. And somebody said, well, she has the numbers. But we didn't get on the streets to make the noise, did we? Did we? We only took to social media. We only exerted our position with the numbers we had and the social media we have. But on that same social media, somebody is seriously abusing someone with the same fingers you used to type while somebody is using it to share the gospel you're a Christian by all standards in fact if I'm not afraid to say you are a PENSA member but the last time you went on social media the kind of things you typed if we were to put your face to that word I don't think Jesus can recognize you and so we can use the same platform to spread the gospel to do positive things and that same platform can take someone else to hell may the Lord help us so that as a church with so much numbers we will exert our position by virtue of the good news by the fact that we are coming with Christ to the world and when we say these things we will take our position in very I am just happy to see the beauty queen here with us. This is beauty with brains, but most importantly, beauty with Jesus. And so may the Lord cause us to take positions in this country with what we have. Guys, I have gone in with Jesus and nothing else. I have been very unapologetic about my faith. And the Lord has glorified himself. Another thing we have done, and I'm just about rounding up and then we left a song to God, was to keep relationships. So you are here at Pensa. Can we just turn to our left and look at the person sitting next to you? Just your left. I said left. Only left, I said. I am seeing north, south, east. It's okay. <laughs> But you do not know that the person sitting next to you that you turned left to is actually the next governor of the Bank of Ghana. You actually do not know that that lady you just turned to is the first female president of Ghana. You have no idea that the gentleman you just turned to actually owns the biggest estate ever built in the history of this nation. And so right now, turn to your right. And I said right, and let's do right. Because the person you just turned to is actually going to be the one that is going to place you, lift you up, direct you, be your link man, your link woman. The person that will give you direction will tell you one word.
person you just tend to will be so papa i came to ghana to come and hold experience with diana hamilton and by the way on the 13th of february we are having one in accra and then on the 20th of february experience of diana hamilton is happening in kumasi church of pentecost bantama and i would love for you to be there there's power in numbers so let's grab our tickets and just go and be blessed and be a blessing but back to the point i was coming to ghana to come and hold experience with diana hamilton and i was going to be one of the first few if not the only female artists who had come in to come and hold a gospel event one from the uk and also has the audacity to take a gate fee sorry kumasi's one as well yes kumasi was the first time it had ever happened that somebody will come do a gospel event and charge oh we had all sorts oh we had it's not possible and yeah yeah ah the gospel is free and you know all the sayings we say but i walked into a radio station and i met a young man who is now sofu chebweti and he was the md for that radio station and he was like sis yeah ba ye ah yeah you say ye be fa bra me ma interview ha me ma air play me run advert me ye way me ye way by the time i realized we had filled the national theater because someone i went to morning star with and our parents were friends and we had become a brother and a sister decided to speak a positive word into my life and say ebeyeji and so if i had ever been mean to emmanuel chebwete then now sofobwete maybe if he had a positive word he would have kept it to himself may we create relationships that will last a lifetime because i tell you what we stand from our place of strength when jesus came into the world and started preaching the gospel bible says he went from samaria to judea to jerusalem to the uttermost part of the world it was a process it was his people that lifted him up it was and so i'll ask a question let me let me just ask a question and if you've done that before tell me when was the last time you went to a shop or now iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby and you typed in gospel song by a Ghanaian without a name. If you've ever done that or you have gone to a music shop and you go like asa mpacho me to CD why na abo gospel ah mi ni mu na ma me nnyo na mento ana me 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 pe speaker me pe me pe preacher bia afa na wa start e unim ni minim ni din me pe no nanka ama me ne cd nanka mato nanka makoti na aye nhira ma me let's not try to pretend it doesn't happen you go into the shop you go to itunes and you type in diana hamilton atom you go on youtube and you type in apostle opoku onyina apostle eric nyameche and then boom 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 the list comes and then you have a choice and you are picking you are listening to this one you have watched him do you know that he is not the only apostle in the world amuchomo mwamio and now he is the only apostle in the world 
when you've gone on YouTube and you've typed Diana Hamilton, am I the only singer in Ghana? Why did you type? Because you have either heard my name, you have heard me sing somewhere, you have heard someone talk about me. So who started talking about me first? Who listened to my song for the first time? It was Dr. Wyatt, Church of Pentecost. It was Darkoman number two. It was Church of Pentecost, London Fountain Gate. That when I did my first album launch, the person that bought my first CD bought it not because I was the best singer in the world, but because he knew me. Oh, Dina, dear, you're back. Oh, Dina, oh, you're Pentecost new. Oh, now no convention, crown up, so you more. Oh, Dina, dear. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Takura down for no, no. Oh, relationships. They don't buy your first book because you are the best author. They bought your first book because every Sunday you turned up in church and you smiled. And when you were being asked to pack the chairs, you packed them. And when the mother spoke to you, you said thank you. And when you were beginning to talk to her, you said please. Listen, you get to know the good girls and the good boys on the wedding day and the people that turn up. Sister, one sri, one one man them, one swa one sri, one swa one yen nice. Mami a ye you want ko? Sofu free meeting wa ma, wa busa wa wa muna se kum. And from nowhere. Auntie, praise the Lord. Pacho, my young woman, I'm person coming here lunch, and I'm person. Oh, yeah, my chairman. I say, oh, Afra, I'm going to hear you. Auntie, I hear you. I'm going to hear you. I'm going to hear you. Human relationship. That smile on your face when she met you at the door just brightened her whole world. People, let's build relationships that will last. Because after you have done all this, I say this, that I am human. But if my family can pick my song and worship with it, the family that knows me when my wig is off, the family that knows me when I'm in my pajamas, the family that knows me when I am angry and I am free in my mind, can still believe that the Jesus in me is real. That is your testimony. And so let's create relationships. Let's smile. Let's talk. Let's turn up to this event. Then you are angry. Why? This world we are in, especially in the UK, efeno jetu homa me. Unya e ye na oba ye na obo onsa ano. Wanfa anche wo. Wase fatu homa no. Na ne bane ye ya efra. Wonso wa bre ni binor dia ye ya efra no. Na ne ma minsu wa wonso nyor de bre wo no. Wo de a bre ni efeno jetu homa me. Hand go hand come relationships smiles turning up to that wedding turning up at pensa conference you have finished pensa you have been here four years I, I, I don't i don't get it you need to start wondering what the problem is because you feel you are above everyone you feel you know Jesus too much. Everyone is not holy enough. Sister, heaven, the angel, I am a kubio. Men can't show me one so When you have done all this. The last time, the last time David stood in front of Goliath, 
he said you come against me with sword spear and javelin but i come against you in the name of the lord almighty the god of the israel's army which you have defiled this very day the lord will put you in my power i will defeat you i will cut off your head and i will let the whole of philistine know that israelites have a god what am i saying people when all is said and done it is jesus we take to the world it is jesus we show to the world and trust me tonight if you don't take anything with you take the statement that when the jesus department is sound take this when the department of jesus is sound the area of uprightness the area of holiness the area of character everything begin to align itself and you are able to show jesus to the world be unapologetic because you have been equipped enough to take the bull by the horns and win victories for jesus and the world cannot stop you and they will begin to wonder where you have been and they will begin to ask and you will tell them that the jesus in the inside is beginning to work on the outside people as we have been equipped as we have been armed to face the world no one nothing not anything can stand before us because jesus is our captain and when we stand with him in our hand as the tool the world will bow to jesus and jesus will be glorified and so tonight if you are here and you have a ministry know this that you are equipped it is your rightful place no one has the right to ask you have been made for this. Take the me, me papa or say, say the mic ne mawa. Sum. Say the mic ne mawa. Take that microphone. Ya the mic ne mawa ya dia bay. Sum. And begin to deliver because you have the backing of God the Father, the backing of God the Son, the backing of God the Holy Spirit, and the backing of the Church of Pentecost. And so you can only go above and not beneath. You will lend to many nations. And Jesus will be glorified. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May ministries be birthed. May the glory of the Lord be seen. Maka rotiba and